Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Flying Ross here, bringing you another City Skylines video. And this video is on the 10 things I think the game really needs in stock. Now, these are just my opinions, and some have been mentioned by other people on the Paradox forums or on the Steam forums. But let's just get to it with number one. Number one is day and night cycles. Now, this is something that I think is really missing from this game to make it absolutely beautiful. To see your city at night and actually have a night sky with stars would be so amazing. Right now, there is a mod to kind of switch the dynamic lighting so it looks like it is night, but the sky actually doesn't change color. So the first and number one biggest thing I say the game needs is a day and night cycle. Number two with night has to be lights. City lights, street lights, lights in the office buildings, lights in the houses. This would just add so much to the game. I know that it would be pretty taxing on a lot of people's computers, but it could be an option that you could turn off in the graphics, that you wouldn't have so many lights. But having lights in the game would just make this game just 10 times more beautiful, especially with the day and night cycle. My third thing is helicopters. There's so many helicopter pads on all these different high-rises. I would just love to see helicopters actually flying around your city. Police helicopters, news helicopters. Again, it's just a little thing that would add so much. It's not the, that big of a suggestion or it's not that big of a need, but man, I would love to see some helicopters flying around in my city. Number four has to be disasters. Currently, fires just don't do it for me. It's one building that burns down and the most you have to do is maybe demolish the rubble pit. It's not that I want a nuclear reactor to melt down in your city and destroy it forever, but we need something else to keep the game kind of interesting. A, a riot, something, something that goes on within your city that you would have to manage or do something about. Number five for me would have to be different kinds of bridges. Right now, it's only the same type of suspension bridge. It pretty much is the same thing. Um, and then you have a single lane bridge, and that's it. So different kinds of bridges, maybe a drawbridge or something. Number six would have to be tunnels after bridges. The idea that tunnels is not in the game is kind of disheartening. You know, making a tunnel from one side to the other side of your city could help so much with traffic and also just would add a huge design element, which I really think the game's missing. Number seven is overhead railway system. Now, I would really like to see railways above roads and, you know, it would just add so much to your city. Right now, there is a mod that you can do it, and how it does it is that it ignores the clipping. So it just allows you to clip uh, different objects. So that's how you can actually put them over single lane roads and stuff. But you can see it's like just a little imperfect, and you get like little um, support beams that go into your road. I just would really like to see this in game. I think it would add so much. Number eight is in-game terrain modification. Now, currently you can do it in map editor, but that's the only place you can do it. You can't actually do it as you play the game. And I think this is a very important tool that any city building game should have. And also it's important in real life. Any city that is built usually cuts into mountains, adds ground or takes away. So I think this is a feature that really should have been in the game at release, but I really do hope that they add it in the very near future. Number nine has to be tourism for me. A meaningful tourism industry is an important aspect for me for city building. But right now you spend all this money on the unique buildings and they do not create anywhere near the amount of money that you spend. You could be spending 16,000 a week, but you'd be earning 350 a week off of the tours. So I really think that it's an important factor that you should not have your buildings create single digit tours. Number 10 is a tree brush. Right now in game, you have to single click every single tree in your map. And with how many trees are allowed in the game, that's absolute insanity. So there is already a mod that has been developed that lets you make a tree brush. And so it's so simple that you can make. It's kind of crazy that the developers didn't put it in the game yet. Um, or in when the game was actually released. Uh, this is just like almost like a no brainer to me. Like why would you want to plant a single tree across your entire map like you would be there for hours number 11 i know i said 10 before but number 11 and finally the end is longer lasting resources currently in game this is an oil deposit here lasts about nine to ten months 
and that's not good. That's about 12 minutes in-game time. And for you to make an area that you dedicated to oil, for all the oil to go away in less than 15 minutes is not necessarily a really good game mechanic. Because then your city is now pumping in all the oil and all your oil pumping stations disappear in, into refineries such as this. And it's just really sad that it goes away so fast. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. I do appreciate it all. And leave a comment below about what future content you would like to see. I do read all my comments, and I do try to respond to them all. As always, I'm The Flying Ross, and I'll check you guys later.